All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? Uh, last time we uh, finished the previous mission, I completely forget. I think it's it was Redstone Mines, possibly, or something like that. Maybe it was, you know what? I think it was Fiery Forge, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, uh, after Fiery Forge, let's go ahead and head on into not Creeper Woods, although definitely a, a not, an idea. Um, the next one up should be Desert uh, Temple. And then looks like we have a locked daily trial, complete lower temple. Oh, interesting. Have we not done a uh, dead lower temple before? Pretty sure we have, but I can't think of it actually now that I... I'm not sure. Uh, either way, uh, the next one is going to be Desert Temple, the next mission to go. So this one's going to be quite fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's our power level and everything. I actually did put gravity on my... Uh, uh, what's it called? Sorry. It put gravity on my hammer as an enchantment. We've already seen the, the intro thing. So yeah, sweet. This is a two second duration. I'm not sure what that means, but sure. Because um, it pulls them in for two seconds, probably. I think there, yeah, I was going to say, I think there's some urns here on the side that we can get some gems out of. But yeah, back in Minecraft Dungeons once again. Hope you guys enjoy. Got a little chicken there. Is there any down here? No. But there is this chest over here I do want to grab real quick, so let's go ahead and do that fast. Uh, yeah. What are what do we have on right now? Reinforced mail. Oh, okay. Wait, why do we have this on? Oh, I think we're upgrading our armor, aren't we? Okay. Highland armor. Ooh. Gain speed after dot. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think we're upgrading our uh, ember robe right now, so we are going to have to kind of rock with what we have. Do have protection uh, three, which is minus 30% damage taken in this game. Uh, this is not a terrible idea. So final shout's actually pretty good too, to be honest. We could do that every eight seconds snowball times three so that's gonna be triggering every second which is really nice um you know what i think i will do final shout uh just a level one of it i think should be fine but yeah oops got tagged by these guys oops it is it looks like we got a soul knife can we get in there i don't think so but maybe don't actually remember uh what did we just unlock by the way looks like we have a cosmetic we unlocked in the previous part. Emperor Penguin, heck yeah, let's use that. Another thing we unlocked here. Uh, big paw print. All right, sure, whatever, let's try it. Uh, but yeah, we should be looking pretty fine here. Let's go ahead and head into the rest of the map. We got some more enemies here, okay. Oh, that's right, yeah, so we, we aren't gonna have the 100% uptime of our, our good friend. The mushroom, unfortunately, but we should be okay. We just gotta be a little bit more careful, that's all. The strength is gonna be really nice, actually. Pretty cool that we got that. Good stuff. We got our penguin here. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any secret stuff you can get by going up here, but perhaps. But yeah, we'll have to save our, um, hello, buddy. We'll have to save our, whatchamacallit, here. Uh, sorry, I'm blinking. One second. I'll get it here in a second. Uh, we have to save our mushroom, yep, you have to save our mushroom for, uh, specific times rather than just spamming it a little bit. Oh yes, but Snowball is so nice, I love it. Aw oh, man, he still hit me, that's crazy. Just don't want to get attacked by those little spider webs, that's my main concern here, to be honest. Uh, we got rush. Okay, that's fine. I think. Oh, am I stuck? No, we're good. That was weird. Uh, all right, swiftness potion. Sure. Don't mind if I do. It doesn't really want us to go this way, but we're gonna go this way anyway. <laughs> Cause that's how we do. There we go. Strength potion. That'll speed things up a bit. Is there a secret over here? Why do I feel like there's a secret over here? Probably because there isn't. Uh, yeah, look at that guy though. Emperor Penguin. Grim armor. It looks like it's the same level. It'll at least increase our power level, at least. Um, so that's nice. Having this armor on. But yeah, we do want to 
probably do some quick runs. I might, if we can finish this level pretty quickly and not have any complications, um, I might just do a couple runs of Soggy Cave to get that armor back that we had, um, because it is very nice to have 100% up, 100 percent uptime on the mushrooms. Not gonna lie, but yeah, I do have the sniffles a little bit, so sorry if I go a bunch through the episode. I'll try to avoid it if I can, but no promises. All right. Narrowed the full 62. Let's go. Not to be confused with, uh, oh, what is this? A little fun place. Um, not to be confused with our, uh, power level. Just a regular level. <laughs> what is. Got some arrows or something down there. You guys see that? That's kind of interesting looking. I thought we could go up there for a second, not gonna lie. Can't. At least not right now. I think there is one part on this map that you can kind of go up on the roof. Not roof, but you know what I mean. I can't remember though. I can't remember for sure. Nice. That's useful. That snowball is actually pretty nice for this area, not gonna lie. Look at that. They're just all snowballed. Can't hit me for snowballed. I'm pretty sure there's a pressure plate somewhere in here, isn't there? I can't remember where exactly. Yeah, these guys usually have way longer reach than you, but not this time. There it is. So yeah, it wasn't a pressure plate, but it was a, a lever. I'm pretty sure we haven't gotten this one yet, so glad we were able to do this. <clears throat> yep, we have not. Now we get this rune. Wait for it to spawn in here. There we go. Boom. Acquired. And that'll be good for uh, back at our base camp. Um, I think we need a couple, a few more runes to complete the set and unlock the secret mission, but I think that's what unlocks the secret mission, if I remember correctly. Can't remember for sure, though. stuff. Yeah, soap snowball is really nice. One of the things I really love. Oh man. It decided to stun the single, the first target that it had already stunned uh, a second time instead of stunning both of them. Unfortunately. Here it is. I think that's how you get up top. Yeah. Can't remember if there's anything up here though. Looks like this is as far as, as high as we can get though. Oh, wait, maybe go across here? Can I walk up this box? No, okay. Maybe there's a way to do it. Ouch. Uh, I can't really remember, to be honest, though. There's probably something secret up there, though. <laughs> if I had to guess. I think we find, like, an Enderman or something up here as well. But let's go ahead and go inside this little secret area real fast. Let's see what we got. Nice, strength potion is really useful. It's, it's like having a uh, fishing rod, but without having to waste. Uh, a slot on the fishing rod. Just using it as an enchantment, basically. It's really nice. It really is. Alright, let's get this. Sickles and some arrows. Nice. Without having to worry about pressing the fishing rod uh, super often. Just automatically shoots at level 3 every second. At level 1, I think it's every 3, 5 seconds, and then it goes down to like 3 seconds, and then, and then every second after that. Max it all the way to level three. So there's that. Getting that dog sound from the the thing every time it happens is kind of funny. I don't know. I almost don't like it, but it, it is kind of useful sometimes. This guy's spider's got gravity pulls. What a thing to have. There we go. Let's 
try to get out of there. Thing of a jig. Quick and deflect, okay. Very nice, some more pickles sickles, I mean. Also pickles. <laughs> Imagine pickles. I think I think this is the one that you can get uh find a secret place here. Let me see though. Let me toss that in there first off. First off. Okay, there we go. Swiftness, nice. It's always fun. Uh, but yeah, one of these places there's a secret area. I think it might be this one. I can't remember though. Is it this one? It doesn't look like this one, but it might be. Let's go ahead and try it. You're supposed to get down there by jumping off. Let's see if I can line myself up correctly. I'll probably fail this a couple times, so bear with me. Oh no, I did it right the first time. Nice. Yeah, this is the secret area here. And we get a uh, a black chest, which is like upsetting or whatever, but like it's uh, the best type of chest basically. Unfortunately, we only got totem of uh, unyielding strength or something like that. But that's fine. There should be another chest that spawns up here too. I think a golden one. Yeah, glaive. Then you can just get back by just hopping over there. But that one's really nice. It's really cool. I like it. Uh, we do have totem of shielding. Yep, yeah, there it is. All right, a little bit higher level, and if you have two of these, you could actually get it for uh, tw like infinite amount of time. Or I guess if you had the the ember robe with the cooldown reduction, level three, that would work as well. Yeah, we're getting a lot of sickles this match, though. Not the best in chance, honestly, but they're not terrible. Guarding strike. Okay. Let's see what little mini boss we got here. Where you at, buddy? Okay. Maybe we're not getting a mini boss this time around. I don't know. I thought we would, honestly, but it doesn't quite look like it, to be honest. Maybe he's further up, I don't I don't know. I thought he was right there. Honestly. But maybe not. Got a little bit st stuck there. Oh, I thought that was a, a second little pool next to each other. But it wasn't. Let's get on the other side of that. Uh what we got here? What's this to go down? Ouch. There's nothing up there, it looks like. Ouch. Anything up here? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe if you walk up there, it'll spawn a thing? I'm not sure. I feel like it won't, though, for some reason. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is like the little survive area, I think. If I remember correctly. If I do. Try not to get shoved off. Or damaged. <laughs> If we can avoid it. Alright, nice. Good there. Oh, is this not that part? I thought it was actually. Okay, looks like we messed it, dude, as well. No! He freaking block body blocked me accidentally because he got stunned. That was funny. Slightly unfortunate for me. It worked out in the end though, so it's alright. Okay, here's the area where we gotta survive. Alright. Let's do it. <laughs> Get out of here. Dude. No, there's just gonna be more spotting in. That's what I was gonna I was thinking, but I couldn't remember for sure. <laughs> well, that could be bad. If I get like stunned in front of one of those, 
could be life over. I don't know. It might just shoot slow enough that I could heal up with my uh, totems of uh, undying. Right. Oh wow, hello, fellas. Stun mobs. Weekly challenge complete. Oh, I didn't even realize that we were on a weekly challenge. Nice. It's undying, right? No, regeneration. Okay, my bad. My bad. Wait, what is the one that we have not scrolled over? There we go. There's a couple, actually. Any down here? Yup. Okay, that looks like a whole of them. Sweet. Alright, stun mobs weekly challenge complete. Good stuff. Looks like this one's going pretty well, at least, so that's good. Let me blow my nose, give me one second, guys. If that skeleton's like slowly following me. <laughs> nah, no, looks like he didn't. Looks like he just left. Kinda forgot about me for a second, you know? <laughs> I thought that was a pressure plate for a second. Evidently not. Which way are we supposed to go? This isn't the way, is it? Oh, maybe it is. I feel like it is actually, never mind. What is, is there anything down here? Couple enemies and some traps. Oh, it looks like it's just another another way to get down here. So two two alternate directions. So I kind of took a shortcut that way. Okay, well let's let's finish off these guys so we can get that uh that XP from them. And also it looks like a nice little bit of uh, gems there. Pretty decent amount actually. There's just one urn too. For one urn, definitely a nice amount. It's like another multiple direction way that we can go. I'll just clear out the enemies and then check out the other direction after, I think. Alright, there we go. Let's check out this way as well. Gravity is definitely a nice enchantment for um, for a hammer, just in general, I'd say. Works super well because it isn't like a super AoE uh, item, so you can get it right at all the damage in that impact point. It's really nice, or all the enemies, I mean, in that impact point. And you can hit them all at the same time, so that's really good. Plus it swings a little bit slower anyway, so um, having them all in that same single area is good for that. This looks like that wide open area just before the boss area. I wonder if it is. I think it is. All right, I definitely want as many arrows as we can get because our current bow is actually pretty decent, and it has the critical hit, which is really nice. Hopefully we can get some of those crits on the boss. Because it can be a little bit a little bit difficult sometimes. Zip around here for a second. Mushroom. Still got some guys in the top and the bottom areas I gotta take out as well. There we go. I think that's all of the enemies up top. Looks like I missed a little chest at the bottom there, but it's fine because I'm gonna swing back around that direction anyway. So it'll work out all right. All right, let's head up here and take out these guys, especially the big boys, while I have the mushroom if I can. Nice, some 
Emeralds is just useful in that apple, which is actually pretty, pretty handy. Although I could definitely use my totems of, oops, I didn't mean to use both of those. Forgot if you click on them, it just insta casts. Uh, I was gonna say I have those as a backup, but not anymore. I don't. All right, here's the boss. No point in getting, grabbing that apple because I'm already full health and it only lasts regeneration for like three seconds. Let's get it. Fetch the staff. Pretty sure that thing still does a uh, bajillion damage, so we're not even gonna test the damage on it, I think. Try to get those crits if we can. Ouch, yeah, that hurts a lot. Careful here. We almost got him. There we go, we got him. I was like, I think I can finish him off here, but I don't know. Love spell though. What the heck is that? I've never seen that in my, my life in my life. Chance to enrage mobs. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna make them allies. I was like, whoa, that'd be cool. It's actually not that much damage. But it is unique and I'm gonna keep it obviously. The enchantments are actually quite good overall, I'd say. Um some things could be better, but overall I'd I'd say pretty good. Uh but yeah, kinda interesting. Definitely not gonna use it, but uh it would have increased our power level by one at least, so that's something. Alright, either way, uh, let's jump through. We did get that challenge completed as well, which is nice. Let's go ahead and finish out the mission, and then we'll um, head on in. We just got chilly enchantment, that's annoying. Oh, there's an enemy in here somewhere. us now. Where'd he go to? There he is. Almost got him. Come on. Oh shoot, ouch. I just realized that I was inside of that thing. The area of the TNT is my bad. My bad. Uh, not really that good to be honest. Definitely something though. Nice string pushing is big here. Looks like we uh, broke the audio of the game for a second here. There's too many things going on I guess for it. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Wait, this guy's invisible, what? There we go, now we got him. That was weird. He's like, I wasn't able to click on him until he teleported away. It's kinda interesting. And this should be the end of the level right here. And I think, if you guys don't mind. Nice. Uh. 
if you guys don't mind, I think I'm going to go ahead and do Saki Cave a couple quick times. So that way, if we do it two more times, which will get us some unique, uh, some nice little gear as well. But if we do it two more times, Gong of Wu could ignite. That's useful. Um, then we will be able to get our items upgraded and get our Ember Road back. What was the weekly challenge? Where was that? Oh, it's down here, I guess. Stun mobs. Defeat mobs with a shockwave. Man, I could I could have had that, but I don't. Defeat Enderman using a raged weapon. I luckily did, I guess, at that end. Without knowing. Defeat mobs with no weapons equipped. What? <laughs> Is that, uh, that doesn't include, like, gauntlets, right? Like, would gauntlets count as a weapon there? Or no? Drop icebergs on mobs. Uh, no thanks. I don't even think I have that uh, weapon on me. But that's funny. Anyways, uh, yeah, the blacksmith is right here, so we just gotta get two more levels to upgrade this stuff, so let's do it. Um, let's go to Soggy Cave down here, and we'll do a couple quick runs on here, and then we should be set to go. Uh, nah, let's just do the, the normal, the recommended power. All right, sorry, I was my nose again. Let's uh, let's run through this real quick, okay, guys? We could literally run through it. I might actually just do that. I don't know if the XP is honestly worth it. I feel like it isn't. Let's see what the XP bar does, what, how much it moves. Eh, it does a little bit. Maybe it's worth it. If they take a while to kill, maybe I won't, but uh, for now, I guess I will. Hunting bow level 102. Does do a little bit more damage than what I have. What enchantments does it have though? Because I do have the uh, do have the critical hit on mine. Ricochet, dynamo, burst, bowstring, and chain reaction. Shoots nearby moss when you roll. Oh, okay. Um. No, I think I'll keep what I have, actually. It's not gonna upgrade our power level, is it? Oh, it is actually. I'm gonna do it by one level. Hmm. You know what? Sure, let's do it. Let's make the switch. Uh, is it worth... Is it worth doing any points on it, though? Looting. Consumables, roll charge. Fully charged for a short duration. Dynamo, ricochet. I do like me some ricochet. I'll go ahead and put that on it. Burst bowstring when you roll. I'll do chain reaction. And then. This is pretty nice, but I think I'll do looting. Let's do that. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, nice. Oh no, not the witches. I forgot about the witches. No! Slimes. All right, I'm stuck. No, we're good. Okay, let's continue on. Sorry about the wasted time. I was just, you know, trying to make sure things are optimal and stuff. Nice. The ricochet and the chain reaction, or the ricochet into the chain reaction, I guess. Wait, what? Wait. I'm getting looting from when I'm not even shooting my bow, though. That's crazy. So that means that other... Oops. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. That means that other one would have worked, actually. Alright, that's good to know. I didn't know that, but now I do. So that's, that's pretty useful, actually. Alright, cool. I thought you had to kill the, uh, what's it called? I thought you had to kill the enemy with the, uh, the bow for it to activate that type of stuff. But evidently not, so that's really cool, actually. That's not the direction I meant to throw that, but it's fine. It'll work. Nice. Yeah, that's really useful, actually. This should be the last guy, and then we're out. Yeah, looting's pretty nice, actually, then. Perfect. 
Now we can just pretty much alternate. Is there some secret over here? I don't think so, but I feel like there is. <laughs> I wonder. All right, we got a little more, nine more seconds of the strength potion. Hopefully we can get a little bit of it. I don't think it'll be there in time, actually. That's okay, though. Maybe we'll get another one since we have looting three, which is a uh, 300% chance. Drop it consumables. And strength is a consumable, actually, so that's nice. Or maybe if it's my main weapon, it's a 300% chance. No, it looks like it's just 300% chance on everything, actually. Alright, cool. Cool. Sweet. Let's do this, actually, and then boom. Alright, we should be done with this mission. Let's get on out of here, and then we'll do it one more time real quick. See, it'll only take a few, that only took a few minutes, right? Besides me trying to figure out my inventory a little bit. And deciding on the bow. Uh, moon daggers, nice. Which are actually a unique um, item here. 791 melee mil damage. They are soul, soul weapons, dual wield. Speed's high, area is down, and power is down from what I have. I'll keep them, but uh, probably not gonna use them. Yeah, I don't think so. I doubt it, at least. We could uh, we could try getting some armor that's a little bit higher level though. We have what 101 level armor. What's our highest level armor? Do we have any? High no, 103, 105. There we go. It looks like we're gonna have to get some get rid of some items soon. Actually, that's fine though. We can definitely do that. Um, where's the 105? There it is. Only 105? I think it is. Ah, uh, the only thing is I don't have the, uh... It's definitely worth the, the power level, though. I think. Isn't it? Hold on. Let me go around. I think the next power level is 102 or 103. If it isn't, then I'll, I'll switch to the other one, but I can't remember for sure. Let's go ahead and finish the level out, and I'll, I'll see real quick. One second. Victory. I guess I should have equipped the 105 right now. To get a better chance of getting a, a nice item. It's fine though. <clears throat> what we got? Buzzy nest. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and check that out. What is it again? Um, let's just do this for instance. 103 is the level. Okay. So we're actually good with our current level to, to do this. So that's good. Um, but yeah, if we went higher power level, obviously we get better rewards overall, but we should be fine. Let's go ahead and do Saga Cave once again, like I said, and then we should be able to finish the episode there. But now we'll get 105 to 112 uh, loot, which is just better in our power straight up, so anything that we get is just going to be better straight up. I believe that's how it works, at least. So yeah, or at least the gear and artifact power at, at the very least, but... Maybe not everything. Oh, nice. Double strength potion. I wish they'd extended the duration, like, to a minute. Because each strength potion gives you 30 seconds. But if you... You can't really stack them or anything. At all, in any way. So, that's the only sad part there. But yes, looting on this is really nice, actually. <laughs> I like this. It doesn't reset my, uh... Uh, my arrows each ma each uh, match, does it? I hope not. kind of feel like it does, though, because I only have 80 now. pretty sure I had, like, 400 a couple, um, what's it called to go? A couple levels ago or something like that. Maybe not, though. Put that speed potion, nice. I don't think it does, but I wish speed potion would give you uh, increased attack speed as well. I'm fairly certain it does not, though. Which is fine. But it would be nice. Ah, uh, I fell off that map. Oops. Anything over here? No. Alright, let's continue on. We are almost done. Thorns, that's always fun. Explore the ruins. 
Oh, we got a double axe drop there, nice. Don't mind if I do. Got strength again, which is really nice. And then what else was there? There was something else we just grabbed. Double axe, which is nice. Level 105. We already have 105, though. Uh, pretty good damage, though. Slightly more than what we have. And does have sharpness as well, and critical strike. Wow. That's actually better than what I have overall. Um, man, that's very tempting, actually. Has more speed and it has more air effect. Same amount of power. Oof. Man. I really want this, actually. Let's try it out a little bit without using our uh, experience points on it first. Let's just try it out for a minute. All right, let's do it. Let's see what we got. We can switch if we need to. Uh, I don't know. I actually feel like it's not doing as much. Yeah. I don't know. I did get strength potion there, so it's a little bit deceiving. Um, but I feel like my current weapon is just better. Statistically, though, it looks good. I mean, obviously, if I put sharpness on it and critical hit, I think, I think it would straight up be better straight up, but like, I don't know. No for sure, and so that worries me a little. We could try it though, if we really wanted to. Go ahead and activate this one, and let's finish this out. We got the final shout there, the activated. <laughs> Alright, what do we gotta do for this? <laughs> oh, perfect. I was kind of testing a little bit, but that worked perfectly, actually. Alright, that should open up the final area. We can just get our obsidian chest loot. I think that's what it is, obsidian. Maybe it's the ender chest, I don't know. Lightning rod and a cutlass, okay. Ooh, level 109 cut list though. Pretty nice. I think it's still not as good as my weapon, but uh, still, pretty nice. Lightning rod does 20,000 damage. Ooh. Yeah, we'll definitely have to get rid of some uh, items as well for sure. I wonder if I should do it at the, end the, at the end of this video or do it at the beginning of the next one though. Either way. I do like the penguin actually, it's pretty cool bit chunky but I like it it's pretty good all right let's head on out and then we can go ahead and wrap up this video I think let's go ahead and grab our loot real quick before we wrap it up there all right what we got what we got soul healer new challenge Apop uh, apocalypse plus enemies are powerful Sorry, powered to the up to the extreme levels, up to extreme levels. Enemies move fast, faster, faster, hit harder, and can even respawn. Item rewards have significant, significantly higher power levels. Rare and unique rewards are much more common. Nice. Enemies can even respawn. That's kind of crazy. So how do you even turn that on? Okay, there it is. Okay, so it just gets harder and harder, and you can go, wow, a lot. Does it just go infinite or what? 25 plus 25, wow. That's crazy. All right, well, anyways, <laughs> the difficulty shooting up. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I don't think we're going to be doing that, but uh, maybe. Maybe if we find ourselves challenged or something. Um, yeah.
Reroll for rares one time. Okay. Anyways, let's grab our blacksmith stuff. Actually, before we do, let's go ahead and get everything maxed out for a second here. Boom. Boom. What else we got? Uh, I think armor, right? We're going to do 105, I think. I think that's about all we could do. Isn't it? 106. 104. Five. Yeah, we can do one of five. That'll increase it uh, up one more level. <laughs> I think that's all we can do there. Pretty sure. All right, let's get our blacksmith items. One twelve. Okay. Arctic fox armor. Thirty percent chance to negate damage still. Ember robe. Yes, sir. One twelve. Nice. That's really good, actually. That's even higher than I thought it would be. Um. This is definitely useful, but I think we're still going to go with our good old trusty ember robe here. Get that. I'm not even worried about the lightning focus, but I might do it. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> whirlwind. Spin attack, cast shockwaves. I might do this, honestly. Um, let's do our mushroom back here. Our bow once again. And then what else do we want to do? Saber wing, that's kind of cool sounding. Strong charge attacks, it's got some overcharge and stuff as well. Alright. Anyways, um, boom. Enchanted, there would be this guy. We can get rid of this guy, right? I guess we could just re-roll it if we wanted to. Yeah, let's do that so we can get the enchantment levels without um, messing it up, I think. Let's go boom. And I think I'll go ahead and do boom on this guy as well. That'll get our enchantment levels back, back too. And then is there anything else that I really want to upgrade the level on? I think I'll probably do some of the artifacts here. Let's do this guy, I think. And then after this guy, we'll do some totem of uh, regenerations. That sounds like a plan. All right, uh, so I'm pretty sure this means I'll have 100% uptime on my mushroom eyes, which is nice. Yep, I definitely will. All right, how long is it exactly? 13.3 seconds right now, okay, cool. And then, like I said, I can get rid of some of this stuff. Um, let me go ahead and p put the mob flare back to bite marks, I think. I think I like it a little bit more. <laughs> and then, uh, wait, what did it say? Mob is snackled by gigantic teeth. Okay, snaffled, sorry. Um, artifacts, let's get rid of some of this stuff. So we only need uh, at most three of each of the items. Um, but I probably don't even need that, honestly. But yeah, let's check it out. So 108, 178, 73. Let's see, we've only got three buzzy nests. Soul healers, I see a bunch of. So let's get rid of some of those guys. Uh, rare, I don't know if rare actually matters at all. But yeah, I've got that. I think I'll just keep that one for now. Common, rare. I don't know if rare actually matters, does it? I don't think it does. <laughs> Pretty sure it doesn't. Uh, so yeah, let's get rid of these soul healers down here. That'll free up some inventory spaces, as you can see down here. Since we've got a little bit, we're getting close to our cap. So we got to get rid of some stuff for sure. Um, got three staffs. We've got way too many totem of regenerations. <laughs> uh, so let's get rid of some of those, the lower, lower health ones, or low, lower leveled ones. <laughs> 102, 103. I guess I'll get rid of this one then. And I think I'll get rid of this one. That should work. And then boots, what we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Yeah, let's get rid of the lower leveled ones once again. I can get rid of more if I need to, but I'm just going to try to keep three of each for now. Um, these guys right here, the harvesters, got four of them, I think. Yeah, so let's get rid of this guy. Um, fire quiver. Let's, see, let's move these all together a little bit more now. Boom, uh, boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. I think we're set on artifacts then, in that case. Uh, armor, let's see what we got, what we got. <clears throat> Uh, Spelunker armor, not terrible, but not what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and get rid of the stuff that has only one enchantment on it. First off, um, three enchantments are pretty much a must at this point. So let's check that out. Yep, this stuff can go. This one's the only have one uh, enchantment on them pretty much no point in keeping them at this point in the the in the game this stage in the game I guess I think these are all good but I'm just kind of checking really quickly all right yeah we should be set to go there um, let's see what else do we not want soul armor is probably gonna go next to be honest uh, phantom. That's what I mean. Phantom armor. Luck. What do we have at the top? Or yeah, the salt rope is the other one I was talking about. 71. It's got some okay enchants, but not that great. What's luck of the sea again? Rare drops become unique. Okay, nice. Yeah, that is useful. Guess let's move them together a little bit more, huh? Um... There's armor we can get rid of for sure. I don't really use the wolf armor. Let's try doing the wolf armor for a second. So I've got... This one seems kind of garbage, actually, the one that I'm on. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, in terms of enchants, I mean. Uh, this one as well, actually. This one... Kind of same thing, actually. Uh, what other wolf armor do I have? Here's a couple. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that. What is this? Oh, melee damage increase. Interesting. Yeah, let's get rid of that guy. This guy's actually not terrible. At least over on. Oh. Oh, sorry, I muted myself, my bad. Uh, I think this, the, the Arctic Fox armor is just an upgraded... Yeah, it's a unique and a gilded version of the wolf armor. So it's actually just better. So I think we'll just get rid of all the wolf armor there. Okay, um, that's good. Hunter armor, we don't need much of these either. Do I have any more way down here? We do have a few. This archer's armor is the upgraded version of the hunter's armor. So we probably don't even need any of the hunter's armor, to be honest, but we'll see. I'll try to move some of these guys up and together if I can. Especially the uniques should be pretty high on the list, even though they are a little bit less leveled. This is going to take a while, though. <laughs> Arranging all the armor and stuff. We'll get it, though. Um, yeah. What do we have here? Chilling multi roll. What's multi roll? Extra rolls. Okay, cool. That's not terrible. Bag of souls. Maximum number of souls you can carry. That's not that good, honestly. Deflect is really nice, actually. Like, really, really nice. And Tumblebee is actually really good, too. So I think we'll keep this one for now and we'll get rid of this guy. We could upgrade the other one if we need to. We have mystery armor. Let's have some cooldown. That one has protection. Shadow surge. Great extra souls. 
think I'll get rid of this one actually. Just a negate damage and stuff, but no, not really what I'm looking for. Let's do a pet bat. And it does have snowball, but I don't really want it. Uh, oh, that's not bad. It has cooldown and protection. Lucky Explorer. Health Synergy. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. Not terrible, at least. I'll get rid of this since I already have this one with the cooldown. Splunker Armor. This one has protection. Burning. Beast Burst. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, a lot of damage. Um, battle Road. No thanks. Appreciate the offer though. Uh, let's go ahead and move these all together now. Oh, it looks like I like reordered them into power. Nope, not power level. What? That's weird. Well, anyways, uh, mercenary armor. Let's see, phantom armor. No, it didn't look good. The enchantments don't look good. Soul robes actually does not the terrible enchantments. Uh, this one's not enchantments don't look that good does have snowball, but I think I need more than snowball. Plus we already have the Ember Robe, which is just an upgraded version, a unique version of uh, the ev Evocation Robes. This one isn't terrible. It has Luck of the Sea, a life, uh, Protection, and Potion Barrier, which is not terrible either, I guess. We'll keep it for now, but we'll probably get rid of it eventually, honestly. Um, electrified. Eh, okay, but not really. Ooh, we have double thorns. We're going to use on that one, but no, I'm good. Missionary armor. It has decent enchants there. Um, evocation robe. No. Actually, we'll just get rid of it, I think. Scale mail. No, thank you. Spelunker armor. No thanks. Hunter's armor, maybe, but probably not. <laughs> uh, evocation room, maybe, but probably not. Battle robe, no, the enchantments are kind of bad. Hunter's armor, no. Enchantments are kind of bad. Soul robe, no, enchantments are kind of bad. Uh, grim armor, has protection. Craft a small quiver of arrows. That's not terrible, actually. I mean, it's okay. I mean, this side. <laughs> um, has snowball, but so do the other ones, pretty much. Same thing, protection, but so do the other ones. No. <clears throat> no. 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 I might, maybe actually, I should have kept that one, but it's fine. Uh, no. It's okay, but I'm probably going to get rid of it, honestly. No. Uh, not terrible, but I'll probably get rid of it eventually. What's this mean? Pets deal more damage. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Spelunker's armor, or Spelunker armor. Singular gives you a pet bat. Get all these together a little bit more. Where was I? Uh, we'll get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. Plate armor. Longer cooldown uh, on your rule, but you could add uh, the damage reduction and chance to negate damage. The enchants on this one's kind of bad though. This one's not really that good either. Pretty much same thing for that. Uh, reinforced mail. It has okay stuff. I think I'll just get rid of it though. I think it's not worth it enough, probably. No, no. Perhaps, but probably no. <laughs> um, let's see. Dark armor, no. 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 Perhaps, but probably not. Actually, no, let's just get rid of it, actually. Um, eh, maybe. 
but probably not, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, no. Maybe. No. Mm. First. Maybe. No. Oh, actually, maybe I should have kept that one. It's fine now. Mystery armor. This one has the cool, cool. Okay, that should be good enough for this. Um, I'm not gonna go any farther right now, though. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you sticking around and sticking it out with me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some. That's not bad, actually. Put some quick enchants on these guys. So we've got our enchantment levels back, and then we'll be good to go. Uh, Voice Dark's actually not terrible. But so is Radiance. And Radiance is really nice. So let's go ahead and do Radiance. And then Gravity is actually not bad either. Freezing's good. Like I said, Gravity's pretty good. Stunning's not bad, but I think... I think we'll just do Freezing for now. Um, and then this guy... Lightning Focus. Is it worth doing Lightning Focus right now? I think we'll just skip the Lightning Focus for a minute. But if we need to, we can. Uh, either way, we'll try to do some, uh, get rid of some range and melee stuff in the next part if I remember. But appreciate you guys watching, I really do. And I will catch you guys in the next part. Alright, peace.